So, I don't really know if I'm going to even post this, but I did something today that just made me feel so good. I feel like I've finally like taken a step to doing something that hopefully ends up being life changing. And after doing that, I saw my camera on my desk and I was like, you know what? Something else that you said you're going to do and you just haven't got around to it is making a YouTube channel. And I was like, you should document this. You should document what you were doing. So, and I don't know if I'm going to post it, but I just think even just to look back at this and be like, fuck, I remember that day. Like that, and I remember thinking that and you know, that moment was day one and now look at where you are, we are, this is kind of thing. So yeah, I'll start from the start and go from there. Makes sense? Checks out? Good idea? Do you um, So about a month or so ago I came up with this idea and I was kind of like, you know what, like you should do this. You should make this happen. And how I came up with this idea was just basically through what I do every single day. And going back five years when I started in the fitness industry, I would always post what I ate on Instagram and things like that. And I'd always get questions and I still do to this day. So five years on, I still get questions about, you know, what can I eat? What are macros? How do I work out my protein? Can you help me? Blah, blah. And I love helping people, but I just find I'm constantly da -da 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 -da, messaging people. I'm constantly on my phone trying to help people and I'm just repeating myself over and over and over and over again. If I had a dollar for every time I said, if you calculated your calories, how long have you done this for? Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? So I used to be really, really detailed in my response. Um, and I, I almost felt like for the first couple of years, I was trying to make people believe that flexible dieting or, you know, if it fits your macros was the way to go and to just try it because, you know, trust me, I felt like I was kind of like selling it to them and that was fine. I just, just didn't have like that confidence in myself to be able to go, it's up to you. Like you can either do this and have fucking ice cream for dessert or you can stick to your chicken and broccoli. Like you do, you see us. Um, and so I was just always like, like battling with that, trying to convince people that my, what I did would be right for them as well. Then after a couple of years, I sort of got not sick of answering people's questions, but sick of putting in so much effort and people not doing anything with it. Do you know what I mean? Like I would give people literally everything that they needed and then they'd still reply to a story a few weeks later and be like, oh yeah, haha, -ha, still haven't done that. And I'm like, why? <laughs> So then I started just replying to people and being like, just super basic, do this, try this, do it for two weeks, let me know how you go. And nine times out of 10, they wouldn't let me know how they go because that means that they had to put in work. And if they had to put in two weeks work, they're not going to do it. They're going to try and find some other magic thing that they can do right now kind of thing, which was fine. But I sort of like almost felt guilty for that because I'm like, that's not really the right way to go about it. But in my mind, I was like, if I tell someone that they need to go and do something every day for two weeks to be able to, you know, learn this skill and they go and do it, then they're really, they want to do it. And it's as simple as that. If you, if you want to do something, you'll put in the work. Anyway. So, yeah. That's sort of how I started applying to people. And then... I was working back at a gym and I'd still and I get questions about nutrition and things like that and I'd constantly be having conversations with people and I just found myself saying it, saying it, saying it, and saying it, and saying it, and saying, it, and saying the same thing over and over again. And I preach Lola! Lola! She's trying to take the tea towel off the kitchen bench. Stop it! What was I up to? You made me distract. You made me distract. So I have tried to preach to people that like if you just learn the basics you'll never have to question anything again. And I like will preach that to people but never really push it. You know what I mean? Like I'll just say that if 
you learn how to squat, if you learn how to progressive overload, you'll never need a personal trainer because you can do all that yourself. If you learn form, if you learn things, then you don't need to rely on people to give you stuff. You don't need to rely on a meal plan, you don't need to rely on people just to hand you the information and things like that because you've learnt it yourself. And then I was just sitting there one day and I was like, that's it. People just need to learn. People just need to learn about flexible dieting. They need to learn all the little aspects to it in one little package deal. And that's it. They can go and live the rest of their life not questioning what they're doing. They can fucking go and get shredded for stereo without having to sign up to bloody Miss fucking Instagram's booty challenge, you know what I mean? So I came up with the idea to teach people everything that they need to know about tracking their macros. So I, in my mind, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> In my mind, I was like, I don't want to, what's the word that I'm looking for? I don't want it to be like a challenge, an eight week challenge where we go through and you lose all this weight and you do all these magical transformations. It's not about the transformation, it's just about learning the basics so you can go and do your fucking own transformation for the rest of your life kind of thing. For your wedding, for your this, for your that you're in control of what you're doing with your body and your nutrition for the rest of your life if you just learn these basic things. And I find that to learn these things about flexible dieting, you have to go to one website to calculate your calories. <laughs> and it just goes on and on. And then you're just like, where the fuck do I start? And I get it. So yeah, that's why I thought, this is me, I'm on, I'm on skis. And when I thought about how I was going to deliver it, I was like, oh, maybe I'll just do like one course a month and how many people enroll, start on the first of the month. It's just an email thing. It's me dealing with everyone and handing out information and getting them to do tasks in my fitness pal and eating and blah, 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 blah. And then I started doing some research. And I came across a lady on YouTube called Sunny Lenaduzzi. I think I've said that right. And she has created multi-million dollar businesses over making courses. And I was going through her YouTube channel and I was just like, yeah, I could like make this a full blown platform, a full thing. And once I've done it once, once I've recorded my message once, I can just help people over and over and over and over and over and over again. Once someone messages me and says, I just don't get it, I can say, go, here's the link to this, I got you. And they can just learn everything that they need to learn, kind of thing. So once I had that in my mind, I was like, all right, simple. Just go onto a platform and we'll work it out. And I went onto a, plat a course creation platform and I was just overwhelmed. And I know this feeling because it's happened to me before, for example, with YouTube. And I know that if I just had sat on that for a while and been like, no, I'll learn it, I'll learn it, I wouldn't and I would never get here. So I reached out to a group on Facebook and I just said like, this is my idea, I wanna create a course, but I honestly, I don't know where to start. Like I was like, do I need to see a web designer? Do I need to speak to a IT person? Do I need to speak to a business person? Do I, I don't even know what to Google to find out how to find someone to help me do this. So, um, sorry, Lola keeps looking outside and I'm like, who's there? Anyway, so I posted on this group and I said, and that's what I said, I don't know what to do. I don't know who to look for. I don't know who to talk to. And I had a girlfriend of mine message me and she goes, oh, hey babe, like I saw your post in this Facebook group. Um, a girlfriend of mine's made three really good courses through this girl. Check her out. And I was like, oh yeah, cool. And I'm like the type of person that like, I want 20 options. I want options, but that was the only response I got to that post, and I was like, well, looks like I'm fucking sliding into this chick's DMs, isn't it? 
And I was like, well, someone's made successful courses out of her. What have I got to lose? I'll try it. So I messaged her. I just said, hey, look, I've been recommended. Um, you've been recommended to me by a friend um, who, a friend of hers, has made courses with you. And I just, I don't know if this is the right place to start. But here I am in your DMs. Can you help this sister out? And she replied to me with voice messages on Instagram, which straight away I was like, fucking love that. That would have saved me so much time if I just had a thought of that every time I've answered someone's questions on Insta. Um, she reached out to me with a voice message saying, love to help you, blah, 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 let's set up a call. And I was like, bloody da. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we set up a call. I, um, jumped on the first meeting with her, which I posted an Instagram post about it last week. I had done my hair and makeup and we're currently in isolation because of coronavirus. And I put up a story on Instagram being like, yeah, so what if I've done my hair and makeup for a Zoom meeting? Like, whatever, I'm allowed. Isolation life. And then my next story was like, my computer's fucking crashed. My meeting's in two minutes. What do I do? And then anyway, it was this whole saga of like, my computer crashed. I couldn't get into the Zoom meeting. The Zoom meeting link wasn't working. The Zoom meeting link had someone else's name on it. I've emailed this chick and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm here. I'm ready. I'm just, I'm not being, I'm, I can't get into this meeting. Like, I just can't get in and I'm freaking out and I've sent her, like, three emails, two DMs. And then I checked the calendar and I was like, it's on Tuesday and today is not Tuesday, today is Monday. So that happened. So, anyway, finally got to Tuesday and I chatted with her and I spoke about what I sort of wanted to do without, like, delving into it too much. Just said, like, I just want to help people understand flexible dieting i don't want it to be a transformation challenge i don't want it to be about body image and body this and body that i just want to give people the skills so they can do their own thing for the rest of their life i basically want to give people the skills that they never ever ever have to go and buy a meal plan again anyway we chatted back and forth and she came up with this idea that idea this idea that idea and after it i was just like no not what i want not what i want i want this evergreen platform, I want it to be whiz bang, fucking boom, 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 how you going, jump online, whew, fancy business, oh my god. Anyway, so we chatted sort of back and forth again and I just said, look, it's not you, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> Basically, that's what it was. I was like, it's not you, it's me. I have this idea in my brain, I'm like, and you've got this idea, and I'm like, and I'm too fucking stubborn to move from my idea. And then I sort of had to step back and I was like, this girl's a professional. She is the professional in what I need, so I probably should listen to her. So anyway, she sort of adjusted a few things and we had another call and I was like, yeah, that's better. That's what I'm thinking. Like, and we, we discussed options and I was like, yeah, okay, okay. This could be a thing. We're on skis. All right, all right. So I sent through the final draft of yep these are all the questions she'd asked a whole of the questions i'd given her all my answers um and then yeah basically she's like so are you in or not and i was like yeah i am and she goes all right i'll send you through a quote blah blah, blah. she sent me through a quote and i was like <laughs> oh, okay <laughs> no i knew it was gonna be a bit of money but i was sort of yeah not expecting that amount for some reason I don't know why I think that the value behind what we're gonna do together is definitely worth it but just I think the thought of just handing over this money and not having anything not even sure that what I'm gonna do is gonna make me a lot of money was a big step um, but I just sort of like stopped being my stubborn self and I was like take my money take the reins I trust you, you know what you're doing, this is your profession, not mine. I'll stick to what I know, you stick to what you know, here's my money, let's work together, make this happen. Anyway, so that's what I did and that's what I did today. We had our first call today and we spoke about step one. So step one today um, was basically about how I need to gather 10 people, um, interview them and get a feel for what it is that people want to know, what they already know about flexible eating, um, you know, what kind of person they are, what stresses them out about it, like just all these different questions so I can just get a really good feel for 
what people want to know about it and it's not just me delivering what I think people want to know about it. In my mind, I'm like, calculate your cal calories, fucking scan some food, eat some food you enjoy, Bob's your uncle, what's the problem? But I've been doing it for five years, six years, and it's easy for me, you know what I mean? So that was step one, and yeah, that was really exciting. I got off the call with her, and I was like, fuck, like, I am doing this, like, this is a thing. And then, yeah, I was like, you should record the process. This is going to be so choppy and bad, but I just thought, if I get it on video, how cool. It'll be really cool to look back on. So my tasks this week are to interview 10 people. I need to set up a Calendly link so people can book in a call with me. Um, I'm going to interview 10 people for half an hour and then help 10 people for half an hour. So 10 hours of work, give or take. Um, I'm really excited for that because I want to sort of work with a few people that I know, but I really want to work with a couple of people that I don't know or, yeah, don't know from a bar of soap because that would be interesting for me. Um, I need to get that confidence in like building rapport with people and stuff like that too. So I'm excited for that. I am excited to see if I can make this a thing. That'll be cool. I'll, I'm thinking I'll just put it on YouTube, not advertise it or anything, just so I've got it to go back to. And then if anyone wants to watch and see how it all unfolds, I'm going to document it anyway. So I'm thinking I'll just like record a couple of the meetings and my documents and my thoughts, I think, will be a big one. Um, so yeah, we can just watch my little baby unfold. That's it. Say bye.